family and friends, we are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the joining of Travis and Jennifer in marriage. With love and commitment, they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is standing together and facing the world. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Jennifer Kathleen Trujillo. These vows have been incredibly difficult for me to write. Eloquence is easy when the topic means very little, but words fail me now because this is the most important moment of my life. Jen is endlessly kind. Her heart is so deep. I don't know how she has that capacity, that endless well, reservoir of compassion and kindness for people that are not only friends, but also strangers on the street. And I love that that is the woman that I'm marrying. Travis, you're about to be my husband. The new word will take some getting used to. I am so incredibly excited to finally be able to call you my husband. His humor is one of my absolute favorite things in the whole wide world. Um, he is goofy and so quick-witted and he can he has this uncanny ability to rescue me from the edge. <laughs> um. It's exactly what I needed in a partner. I'm lucky to have found him. The moment that I knew I was going to marry her was a quiet weekend afternoon. Our two dogs, she and I, it's, uh, it's weird when you feel those moments when your heart just kind of leaps out of your chest, especially when it's such a, a quiet moment. And I was so overwhelmed with joy that two and a half years into our relationship that this is where we were at. We were so comfortable and so happy. I was nervous to change my last name, but I'm pretty excited about that. It marks us being a family, and we already are one, and we have been for a long time, but I think that'll be really special. There is no way I could accurately convey my gratitude that you chose me. You chose me and have weathered the storm by my side these past six years. I 
I know you'll be great at this new role for so many reasons. You're incredibly supportive. I don't ever see my own strengths as clearly as you seem to. And though I've never been good at taking a compliment, your persistent praise and encouragement gives me the confidence and courage to take chances and excel. When Jennifer and Travis asked me to marry them, I didn't have to think twice. I jumped at the opportunity. It is my profound honor to enter this unconventional marriage as a third equal partner to our non traditional <laughs> Oh. Sorry. I completely misunderstood. <laughs> Marriage gives permanence and structure to a couple's love. Marriage is telling the person you love that you're not going anywhere. And that's a powerful commitment for two people to make to one another. At 10 years old, I would have told you that I was absolutely going to be married to whomever was my very first kiss. And that we would have a dozen boys and would name them after the apostles. <laughs> But don't worry, that's no longer the expectation. <laughs> I will settle for six. We can name them after professional wrestlers. <laughs> you stick by people and do whatever you can for them. And that in turn inspires such devotion in others. It gives me confidence that our relationship is built to last because you aren't the type to let things fade and you fight for those you love. I never have to worry that you're keeping something from me, and that's the best possible foundation for a marriage. You are so kind and loving to me. My whole adult life, I have felt adrift. And when we met, I had been drifting for so long, I could no longer see the shore, and I was certain I never would again. But you chose me anyway. You chose me. It is a cliche, but you have made me better. In every way. I promise to take you at your word and to, to value what you say. I will always nurture your creativity and will forever be your number one fan. I promise to kick your butt when you need it and to never allow you to give up. I promise you that this heart is yours forever and always. I promise I will be better at backing down when we argue and admitting when I am wrong on the rare occasion <laughs> that that is the case. I promise to hold you when times are tough, to be your strength when you need it, to put together our Ikea furniture <laughs> and to kill spiders when you run the other way. I promise from here on out I will only tell you the highlights from WWE and I won't break <laughs> down the entire show for you. I promise to be silly with you. I promise to see the world with you. I promise to dance my heart out with you. I promise to take care of you when you're sick and I vow to fight for our partnership. I promise I will always look at you like this because there is a lot of beauty in this world and nothing that compares to those eyes. I don't pretend to know what the future looks like, but I have confidence that with everything we've weathered so far, that we'll figure it out. I love you so much. I'm so excited and grateful that I get to be your wife. And on this day, 2141 of our grand adventure, I love you more than I believed my heart capable. And I declare that I love you, and I am yours forever. And now, by the power vested in me, by the state of Arizona, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss your bride.
It is perfect for Jen in every way. From sharing the same taste in music, understanding that a trip to the UK really means a trip to see all things Harry Potter related, and a shared love of the Olsen twins. It's true. <laughs> Over the years, I have seen them both challenge each other in a way that brings out the best in each of them. Now, almost six years into their relationship, they are in fact a couple to emulate. Jen, her selflessness and goodness is even more so when she's with Travis. And as we all know, Travis's devotion to Jen is the stuff of great romance. I was so relieved that I liked her. Jen was smart, she was kind, she was beautiful, she had some real sass. I'm very proud of her, I'm proud of the gentleman she chose to marry. Um, I think they'll have a wonderful life. The moon is theirs, I think the stars are theirs, I think they're going to create incredible, who knows. I know that every parent asks that their child's better than them even by just that much, and this one is better than that. Uh, I really couldn't imagine my life without you. Jen, if there's somebody that was going to be the best friend for my best friend, I couldn't have picked a better person. Jen, my life is better because you're my friend. Travis, seeing how happy you make her is more than a best friend could ever want. It's important to put all your chips on the table and bet on the folks you love. Um, I bet on these folks. I admire the hell out of my brother. And if I'm being candid with all of you, Jen played a big role in opening up this space for us to be more than brothers, to be friends. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, J.K. Rowling wrote, we cannot choose our fate, but we can choose others. When I look at Jen and Travis, I see two individuals who have chosen the other to be their partner in life, and in doing so have created their own fate, their own magic. Um, enjoy life. Don't get work and everything else in the way. Um, it's, a, uh, it's a life to live, and, and enjoy it. That's the best I can say to you. Raise my glass to uh, my daughter and her husband. The greatest there is the greatest there was and the greatest there ever will be. To the groom! To the bride! <laughs> From your sister, who's always by your side. I love you both so much and more than you could ever possibly know. To two dear people, to family, and most of all, to friendship. Mazel tov.